Hello everyone. Uh, let's do a quick video on the group uh, part of the class. So I'm getting some questions about, uh, you know, what are the instructions for the group project. So basically, I want you guys to to it's a semester uh, eight eight week long project that's group uh, oriented. And what you're really doing is I want you to imagine that you work for a, a company and you've been asked to analyze the industry that, I, that I've given you. So uh, once you've told me your group uh, members that I'll let you pick yourself, uh, then I'll give you a topic. Okay, so the topics that I uh, have, I'll have some more here, but uh, uh, you know, the, these are some of them that we've already uh, assigned so new tires, retail coffee, so on and so forth, uh, and I want to spread it out to to make it kind of interesting. So, you know, I don't want to give you everybody gets the uh, the restaurant industry because many of you work in the restaurant or the insurance industry. I want you to do something else in case your career takes you that direction. So, um, what you, this is basically going to be a PowerPoint that you turn in, and if you use the Google Docs, you can all share it together, uh, which is pretty cool. So. Um, where would you find the list of uh, what you're supposed to do? So I, I renamed this file. So course grade information, group project, and career paper details. Okay, so the rest of that stuff's about other other things. There's a video on the paper if you want. Um, okay, so here here is the uh, part one that you'll turn in, and that's under assignments. So you'll turn in part one here, and then part two you're going to add part two to part one and then drop that in there. Just put everybody's name on it. I, I will uh, pick up the grading as I'm, as I'm keeping track here of the who's in what group. Okay, So I, I, I will know. Just make sure you write everybody's name on it. Uh, okay, and so part of the instructions are right here. You can, um, you know, you can uh, go there and, and get that just that piece, but like this is the whole thing, right? So the first one uh, two to four slide uh, PowerPoint. You can use Google Slides. They're the same thing now. Uh, so everybody's name. Identify the industry. So what industry are you talking about? Short hint histories, right? So some of these industries are, are fairly old. Some of these industries are, are not that old, right? The one person has streaming services. So like where did that come about? Uh, approximately how old? You know, you don't have to super detail. Major firms who supply the product, the relative market share, and the source you use to find this information. So uh, a little bit of research. So what are the companies who are on the supply side? And a profile of the buyers in this market, right? So uh, how old are they? What's their income like? Other demographic information you can find and then cite your information using the MLA format. So that's just it for, um, for the first part, okay? Now the rest of these parts, they're specific um, parts of the content of the course, but I'll briefly uh, briefly outline them for you here. So uh, here, this is going to be the market changes. So last eight months, so we're talking the coronavirus times, um, for a specific demand change, we're going to identify the determinant. You may not know those yet because that's uh, in the next uh, couple of mo modules there. What part of tribe has changed, right? So that stands for something, tastes, related goods, income, buyers and expectations of future price. Is it an increase or a decrease? So there's a, a bit in your uh, textbook about this. There's also videos that I've made that, that kind of go over this. So you're going to do um, demand change, supply change, uh, and what that's going to happen to, what do you think is going to happen to price and, and, uh, and quantity in the market. And I encourage you guys, because you're in groups, to talk about why is that the right answer, right? Like why, what did you find, and then why, why is that the right thing? Okay, uh, part three is about elasticity. So we're going to add a couple slides there. Uh, elasticity is an important concept in economics. Um, I'm just going to do the supply and the demand elasticity. The next one is about excise taxes. Those are per unit taxes. So you're going to look it up. Some uh, products are not taxed at all, and some other products are taxed uh, quite a bit. You're going to also look up the tariff situation. So we're going to look up ex exports and import tariffs. You can see that here. Import tariffs into the United States, export tariffs. Um, if it's a product like soybeans or something that, that uh, is produced in the United States and then goes somewhere else, right, that would be the, the issue, right? So there's Japan has high, ta high tariffs on American beef. 
uh, this is going to have an effect there. And then finally, uh, the market structure. So what market structure are you in? We'll learn five different market structures in this class. Um, and that's uh, the last thing. And if you put together your whole slideshow, you know, all five parts, you've got a product that you could uh, use to start a business. You could use to think about your investments. You could use uh, as a template for, uh, you know, what industry are you actually in? So you could think about think about that. And this is very similar to what the work you'll do on the paper. Okay, so the, the paper is very similar. So that's that. Uh, as always, email me, ask me any questions, and I'm happy to help you. Um, all right, there you go. Oh, and uh, sorry, at the end of this, um, it, 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 today is Sunday, the uh, first Sunday of the class, and I'm going to uh, put you guys into groups if you haven't formed your own groups yet. So just make sure you email me this afternoon so I can uh, get that done for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.